along with my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the LSU Tigers. Many believe the SEC to be the best conference in the nation. Today we'll see why as two bitter rivals take the field. And here come the Tigers. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? LSU has a guy at wide receiver that everybody's talking about, and for good reason. He's the strength of this offense, an offense that can really spread the ball around. Lee, watch for him to come up big in this one. Not so fast, my friend. I'm taking hammer. Roll time. All right, we've heard Lee Corso's pick. Now let's take it down to the field for the action about to begin. Here's the coin toss. With a takedown. That was a huge lift. Brad, you're right. A run like that can really get the momentum rolling. Two tight end. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He can scoop. And down he goes. How about that for a stinger? And what a nice counter play there. The line did a good job of blocking up front, and the tailback did the rest once he got by the first wave of defenders. Whoa, that was close to being six points there, you guys. Gibbs will run it again. Ball's loose, and with a takedown. Well, they avoided a turnover right there. Man, oh man, that was a close one. Good thing that kid was paying attention and fell on the football. Here's an option, right side. He laterals the ball. He spins. And they make the stop. And they get a nice gain on third down. Remember when we talked to the coach? He mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against this defense. And he felt that he may have some success. Well, they had some success on that play. Alabama lines up in a goal line set. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. After a quarter of play, our score is Alabama, seven, LSU, nothing. Jumbo package. Touchdown, Alabama! A short run gets them the score. Those offensive linemen just abuse their counterparts, huh, Kirk? You bet. Daniel drops 
to throw. He's looking. He's going right. He's got it on the run. They made the third down conversion look too easy. They were just looking for the first and ended up getting a huge chunk of yardage. It's not bad. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Tigers come out in a shotgun. Turner with a takedown. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up, and it's right down the middle. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. Third and five, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. They're lining up in the 5-2. On the ground with a tailback. Makes a move. Banks with a takedown. So he got a few yards on that carry. You know what, guys? If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. It's first and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Alabama goes with the ace set here. Inside handoff. And down he goes. Tries to juke. Spin move. Banks. Brings him down. This matters the most. They line up in a double tight set. Randolph gets the call again. Brooks with a takedown. An eight yard gain. Nickel defense. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws back across field. Complete. Banks. Brings him down. First down, just nickel and dime him. Nothing wrong with that. It was good play call. Just take what the defense gives you. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. Drop back to pass. Throws. And it's caught. He has some room. Touchdown, Alabama. They decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. It's a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. From the shotgun. Daniel drops back, throws it out there, and it falls incomplete. Number eight, the intended receiver on the play. Third down and four coming up on this one, and this is the eighth play of the drive. LSU lines up with three receivers. Down. A few yards there and a first down on the halfback toss. It's first and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. Cut it! 
He drops back, and they try to set up the screen. And it's caught. Brand brings him down for a loss. That'll be a two-yard loss. Second down and 12. And this is the 10th play of the drive. LSU comes out with an eye formation. Daniel with a nice play fake. Complete. They complete the play action pass for a pickup of three. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. They come out with four wide out. comes away with a sack. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. LSU ready to punt this one away. He punts this one high in the air. Battle calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 10-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 10. We'll start the drive at the 10-yard line. Alabama comes out with two tight ends. Straight ahead with the fullback. And they make the stop. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. In second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 10. The Tide come out in a shotgun. A little two. They'll bring him down. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. Gain of two on the play. Third and eight, ball on the 12. Alabama lines up in a double tight set. Gibbs on the run, Jukbu shakes off a tackle. The offense can't get a first and that'll bring up fourth down. They need to give their defense more time to rest. Alabama ready to put this one away. Number 86 punts it, and it's a good one. Number seven fields it at the 35. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 45-yard line. They come out in a nickel. on the inside. Brought down. About five yards there on the fullback carry. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 50. The Tigers with four receivers looking. He's going left. And it's caught. And down he goes. That was a well-designed play. Yep, good execution there. Nice job of getting the first down on that pass. First and ten. Ball on the 43. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Dale brings him down. Four-yard gain by the back. Gain of four on the play. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. 
And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Alabama 21, LSU 3. Second and six, ball on the 39. Daniel lines up in the shotgun. He's looking, wants to go long and does. And it's incomplete. It's third down and six to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. They line up in the shotgun. Daniel drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, I mean, that ball should have been picked off there. The defense lines up with six DBs. Back to pass. He steps up, looks, wants to throw outside. He's got his tight end. Tackle. First and ten. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Six DBs in the lineup. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's under pressure. Anderson comes away with a sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. They come out in a nickel. He drops back. Looking. He'll dump this one off. It's deflected. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Passing situation here on third and long. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The Tigers have five receivers on this play. Daniel set to go to the air. Rifles it right side, and he shoved out of bounds, and that one will go down as an incompletion. It's too bad because the wide receiver made a super effort to catch that pass. Yeah, Coach, he's got the ability to come up with that circus catch. I want that kid on my team. Ramos lined up for the field goal, and he's going to need some distance on this one. It's up, and he got it. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. LSU lined up in an onside kick formation. Here's the onside kick. They were really looking to get the ball back. Yeah, but it's not over yet. They can still get a three and out or come up with a turnover. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. They'll bring in their dime package. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. Offsides. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Oh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First down and five to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Give on the run. There's a missed tackle. And they make the stop. He seems to be running harder and harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there. Right. 
First and 10. Ball on the 26. From the gun. That snap from center. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. And down he goes. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Big Alabama big sets up in the eye. up big yards there and he's going to have a first down yeah nice job there this guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes the tide come out in the ace formation place and they'll blow it dead. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Still a false start will go against the offense. Yep, and that's five more yards they've got to try to pick up on this next play. Unnecessary stuff. First down and goal to go. Ball on the 13. LSU calls a timeout. It's first and goal. They're inside the 20. They line up in a double tight set. They'll go with the run once again. He jukes. Brooks with a takedown. LSU takes a timeout. Touchdown. They'll keep it on the ground again. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. That gives him two rushing scores on the day. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. up for the kickoff number seven and number eight deep to return and he got all of this one great kick number seven fields it in the end zone a good job on their last drive getting three let's see if they can get some more on this drive they'll set up shot at the 19. LSU in a five wide set steps up looks lets it fly complete and they hit him in the backfield a four yard loss the 
LSU goes with the ace set here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. At the point, across midfield, down the sideline. And they come up huge on that play. Oh, he sure did. He's a tough guy and always seems to have a little extra when he needs it. Three-yard gain by the running back. As we've seen before, they go with a hurry-up offense. Nickel defense, and they'll run him again. Anderson brings him down. Four yards gain. Gain of four on the play. Third down and three coming up. This is the fifth play of this drive. Daniel comes to the line with three wide. With the throw, incomplete pass. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. They're going to try to get it through the air. Looking. He's in trouble. Sacked. And they'll turn it over. They went for it, but they were denied. Well, that was a situation where they had to go for it. I agree. They can't afford to let the other team hold on to the ball. The time is ticking away. a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams, but I was really impressed the way this game was won. Alabama came out here very focused, and they took care of business. Nice, nice win for this football team. Folks, that's, that's going to do it for this game. edition of NCAA the Football 2006. Alabama. We hope you all join us again. LSU. Again, our final score, Alabama 28, LSU 6.